Hello, Synthetic Programming here with another tutorial for you guys. Today, we are finally starting out with HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, and I am so excited because this is a language used mostly for design, and design is pretty. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to learn the basics of starting up the setup to build your own website. So, what I have here is an open Notepad++ document. Now, Notepad++, I use over Notepad. You can use regular Notepad. But this is useful because it gives you a lot of different, uh, you know, colors and stuff. When you when you type up something, uh, you know, when you make a tag uh, and y you add, you know, I mean, you'll understand this after we go through. But you notice how it highlights in blue. Uh, the whole point is this really helps you see your code. And it, it helps you to understand it and split it up into different parts that you might not be able to do with a regular notepad document. So, uh, and then over here, I've saved it as a .html. Uh, over here I have that opened up and what we can do is we can hit refresh to see the changes that we make over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define our document. We have to make a declaration that says doc type all caps. Make sure it's all caps with the exclamation point at the front. Um, and then, you know, doc type HTML. You do not have to, uh, to uh, you know, capitalize the HTML. Uh, it's only important that you get that doc type. Now we've defined that this is an HTML document. Under here we can start to put our tags. Now all of our tags, what how tags work is, uh, you have one that defines what kind of tag it is. So this one is the HTML tag. Uh, oh, let's put that over here. And uh, now every tag has to have a closing tag per se uh, when you just start out. So And how that works is the same thing except a backslash and then HTML. So that's these are our HTML tags, and what's going to happen is all the code that we write is going to be inside of these HTML tags. Uh, so what we're going to start out with, uh, just to you know show you guys the basics and show that some stuff is going to show up over here on this pretty screen, is we're going to do some tags, some easy tags. We're going to start out with body. Now the body tag defines the body of your document. Anything typed outside of the uh, of the body tag is going to be part of the head. Uh, and we can do that in a little bit. What I like to do as well, uh, which some people can relate to, is I, I tab. And the thing is, you can tab as much as you'd like. I tab the individual tags just to make sure that I know exactly where my, uh, you know, where my code is. And so over here now in the body, we're going to uh, make a paragraph. Or actually here, let's make a title. And what we're going to do is we can do H1, and H1 is heading one. Uh, you can do this with. Uh, you know, H2, H3, H4, I think it goes to H6, uh, but what we're going to do, this one is the biggest one, which is H1, and then as you progress in the numbers, it starts to get smaller and smaller. So what we're going to do now is just type in, hello world, like usual when you're programming, and we're going to hit save up here. Now over here, when I hit refresh, you'll see hello world pops up, and that's because we've just created this. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to read this going downwards. This code goes down as it reads, and so it's just going to print in a column until we start messing with the divs later, but we have time for that another time. Uh, under here, we're going to do H2 just to show you guys the difference, um, and then I'm going to do this. I'm just going to go Control C, Control V, and uh, I'm just going to change these to, uh, this one has to stay 2, this one's going to be 3, this one's going to be 4, 5, and then over here, we're going to keep that as 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we're going to grab our hello world here so we can uh, do a nice pretty comparison. There we go, and so now I'll hit save, over here we'll refresh, and you can see how it gets progressively smaller. Okay, so that's going to sum it up for today, the, uh, the tutorial on just starting out with our HTML. Next time we're going to go into paragraphs and we're going to start to go into tag modifiers. Uh, so uh, hey, stay tuned, rate, comment, and subscribe. We love it that our subscribers are starting to be more active. Uh, you know, we're getting a lot of comments, a lot of support, and we really appreciate it, guys. So keep up the good work. Uh, thanks so much. Peace out.